This is what we're going to try to graph. This would be the equation that looks a lot like it. So for what we're going to do first, let's pretend this is what we've got, right? If I were to graph that line, and I'm going to go ahead, and, and because I'm not solving by graphing, I'm not really all that worried about specifics. I just want to make sure I get the right shape. What do I know about this equation? What, when I go to graph it, what are some things I can pull out to make the graphing easier? The y-intercept is? All right, so it's going to intersect at negative 2. So here's negative 2. And then what's the, uh, the slope? 3 over 1. So I'm going to follow the slope by rising 3, 1, 2, 3, running 1. Rise 3, 1, 2, 3, running 1. So there's my slope. And then I would draw a line through there. I'm not drawing the line yet. Because remember, this is where things are a little different. Let's uh, sidestep. What if I'd given you guys this to graph? Y is strictly greater than 3. So when you graph that on the number line, here's 3. Do you make a solid dot or an open dot? An open, because 3 is not included, right? You'd make it open. So when I go to draw the line, since this right here is strictly greater than, I'm not going to draw a solid line because it doesn't include it. Equals includes. Not equal does not. So I draw a dotted line. So there's my dotted line. Let me write down what I did there so we remember it. If we're talking about greater than or less than, draw a dotted line. If it's greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, it's a solid line. Just like what we were doing when we did this stuff. Now I'm still not done yet. I still have to shade one side or the other of these two lines. Yeah, yeah go, go, go. Now the trick to get this right is 0, 0 a solution to y is greater than 3x minus 1, 2. Does 0, 0 make that a true statement? Because if it's a solution, it makes it true. So does 0, 0 do that here? Why not? How do you find out? How do you check to see if an ordered pair is a solution to an equation? Oh, you're supposed to do that. Yeah, plug it in. Yeah. Is 0 greater than 3 times 0 minus 2? Is 0 greater than 0 minus 2? 0 greater than negative 2? Is that a true statement? Yes. Yeah. So that means this point right there, 0, 0 is a solution. So when I talk about graphing all the solutions to that inequality, it's everything on this side of the dotted line. All of the dot points in this field over here represent solutions to that linear inequality. They all work. They all will make that true. Every point in this region makes that a true statement. So this graph shows the solutions. And that's what we're doing today. Just taking these graphs and coming up with these solution sets. And the way we do that, again, we graph the related line. We either make it solid or dotted. And then we check to see if a test point is a solution or not so we know where we're going to shade. 